so they're back at it again in here on these counters. I guess they're gonna get it right. I don't know, they got a different carpet. Okay, so the carpenter was in here all day in this kitchen. I'm gonna say it was like two days. And this is what he's done so far. He still has to come back. He's not done, that's what he says. But um, they put some countertops down. Oh, that's not even flush right there. Not the best flesh, but you know what? I I don't care. This ain't my stuff. <laughs> um, and I hope they're gonna do something with those words. I don't know. But um, now I know in the video, I think it was the video they're making progress, but I still have trust issues. I said that I didn't like these um, cabinets, and I was gonna call the owner. Well, the owner happened to pop in, and we didn't even know he was coming. And he saw the cabinets, and he did not like the cabinets, and he said he wanted them all redone. He had a guy here from a different city. But as you can see, these are the same cabinets, and they still look, oh, they, they, they just ugly. And they look cheap because they are cheap. And, but then you have, you, you put these countertops on there. You can't, you can't, like, put something on that looks nice to try to make something that doesn't look nice blend in a little better. It doesn't happen like that. So if they're not going and then like now there's a gap, but at least now this door can open because this door right here couldn't even open. So the other person that did this, I, I just, I just, I, I, I don't know. Um, and now they have the sink centered. It looks like it's centered, but then it doesn't because there's the light. I would have had the sink totally centered with this light but you know that would be me my house um they've started to put in the hot water heater but the guy couldn't finish because the carpenter that was doing the cabinet and the countertops put him out so he didn't get out so he could do what he needed to do um and then after they the plumber finished hooking up the hot water heater. Then I have to wait on the electrician to come hook up that part. So now the stove is back inside of the house. I don't know if I'm gonna use this stove because they moved the stove out yesterday. And when they took it out this door right here, they scrubbed up underneath the bottom and it sounded like they had ripped some gas lines and pipes off. And I was like, oh, I'm not using this stove. So somebody's gonna have to come be the guinea pig and turn this gas stove on. So it needs to be the, um, the, the gas man because he has to do something to the oven because flames are coming out on each side of the oven when you turn the oven on. And I didn't even think to check the broiler, but I'm gonna check the broiler whenever the gas man comes back. Um, so the carpenter, which now, now let me clarify something. The carpenter did not do these cabinets. He did He did not do these. Someone else done these cabinets. Um, the carpenter that they have now, they, he said he was busy, that's why he couldn't do the cabinets, but he's really, really good. So he's going to do the cabinet here above the stove for that microwave right there to sit on it. So he's gonna have a cabinet there and I'm assuming, which I don't know how big the cabinet is for the microwave. I'm assuming he's gonna have a cabinet here, I guess. I don't know. Um, I know you probably can't do anything here because of the hot water heater and stuff. So he's gonna have a cabinet hanging here. And I'm going to tell him, if he doesn't do it, I'm gonna tell him to put a cabinet here to hang here um, since I won't, really won't have a lot of cabinets up top because the microwave is going to take up a lot of that space. So, I've also asked the carpenter to build a cabinet. Let me get a light. I've also asked the carpenter to build a cabinet to slide the washer in. So I could have some shelves on the top 
and some shelves on the side of the washer and to keep the washer stable because this washer isn't stable or balanced and when you use it it dances all over the place which i've told the owner i don't know if he understood what i said or not but that's their washer that's not mine because mine will be balanced and then i asked him to put some shelves in here um i don't know if i'm gonna have doors or not because i told him i wanted a little pantry area to put all of my things um because come rainy season, I'm, I will not be leaving the house. So this has been day two that I've been without a working sink. Now, before they came back yesterday, they had the drain hooked up so I could use the drain, but I could not get any water. So what we did was we just brought water in from the bathroom sink and filled this sink up and we washed dishes and rinsed dishes. But <clears throat> when they came back yesterday, because they had to move the sink over to try to, let me try to slide that on, to try to get it even um, with, because like if you can see right there, right there, that is a um, water spigot for um, the sink. So, so that can be hooked up and then this one can be hooked up so you can have hot and cold water. And then this is the drain pipe. And then look at how much dust this is from um, these countertops. I mean, I should I could I could not come in here and videotape yesterday because the whole area, it was like dust, 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 dust from this all in the air. And I had to put a mask on when he wanted me to come and look because it was so so dusty so i'm gonna have to um have them come and clean that up because i'm not doing it they made that mess this stuff should have been done before we moved in they shouldn't have lied to us so there's more dust they should not have lied to us and said oh give me the day and tomorrow and everything will be done this is where i collect all of my water bottles so he'll be back, Carpenter, to finish because I think he needs to seal these counters down because they can move them. And I think he's going to come in, the guy said he's going to come in and round the corners off, which I don't know how that's going to look. I have no idea. I wouldn't do that. I think I would have just I would come in and just cut this a little bit, a little bit. Like I said, it's not my house, so... My house will be done totally different. Uh, so yeah, oh yeah, they put the ceiling fan in, in the kitchen, which is still hot in here. I don't know, I don't know what it is about <laughs> these African houses. And they think that, or not think, I don't know what they think, but why they don't have air in here. Like who, when you cook it, it already get hot. Then you don't have no air in here, so it's going to be even hotter. I'm not from here. I cook up under air in the summertime. In the wintertime, I cook up under heat if it's cold. So I don't understand their concept of not having air in the kitchen. But, oh, ooh, ooh, my face is so swell. But you best believe air will be in my kitchen. Um... I will be flying someone in from the States to do my Havoc. Um, I will also fly someone in from the States to do my electrical. So yeah, it's dark in here. Let me go open up some curtains because we will not be turning on any lights. I am the queen of let's save some electricity. So let me show you something else. Um, Cause I, I've been really, really, really inconvenienced for two days and I'm not liking it. So right now, this is what our dining room table looks like. And it's because we had to take everything out of the cabinets. Um, and off the 
counter and bring it in here. So we just have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I don't like that at all. And then we have a lot of stuff just packed up there. I don't like that. I don't like for stuff to be like that. And you know, the owner asked me if I wanted cab uh, cabinet doors up here. I cannot remember what I told him. I think I may have told him yes, I can't remember. But he asked me if I wanted cabinet doors here. And I believe I told him no. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and have cabinet doors put down the side. But we got stuff packed over here too that's not supposed to be here. I think I'm gonna have cabinet doors put the side and then here. And um have cabinet doors in here with these with these shelves and things and maybe maybe here too. I don't know. I'll have to see. I wanna try to at least um coordinate the kitchen um for so it'll look better. Oh, another thing I said I would do like if they're gonna keep these existing cabinets, I would at least come in here and try to paint them or stain them. Like see this right here? To like cover that up, you know, make it make it make it look nice. And um I don't know what's up with these gold handles, but I don't even have these color handles in here, but because I mean you got stainless steel appliances. Like you got stainless steel appliances. Why you got this? Let me turn this on. So yeah, so that so you know, you got so why this that doesn't that doesn't look right. Everything's stainless steel, even the light. So I would not have that color on there. But you know, like I said, this is not my house. This is just a rental. Um so yeah.